I'm at the Blowering Nursery here with Ross Dixon. Ross, what's your position with Forest New South Wales? I'm the Director of uh, Land Management and Forestry Services. Now tell us what we're looking at at over here just at the moment. Here you're looking at our uh, uh, 2009 uh, bare-rooted seedling crop. So these seedlings are, are currently in their final stages of, of growing in the nursery uh, before we send them out to our various regions for, for planting in the, in the forest. This nursery is uh, Forest New South Wales' main uh, softwood pine production nursery. Uh, it produces both uh, bare-rooted cuttings and bare-rooted seedlings. So the, the seedlings are grown from seed and the cuttings are grown from uh, little shoots that we collect from uh, older plants in the nursery uh, in, the, in the previous uh, winter. What does bare-rooted mean exactly? Uh, bare-rooted means uh, seedlings that are grown out in the field uh, as opposed to, uh, you'll see later on, uh, an area where we actually grow containerised seedlings, where we uh, grow individual seeds uh, in, a, in a specially designed container uh, to produce a containerised seedling. So how many seedlings are there at the nursery? Uh, at this nursery here we've got um, two and a half million bare-rooted seedlings and we've got roughly 4.2 million uh, containerised seedlings here. Once all of these seedlings mature enough to be replanted, where exactly are they going to end up? They, uh, they'll be planted across the main pine regions of Forest New South Wales, which includes the uh, Hume region here at Tumut, uh, the Macquarie region around the Bathurst Orange area, and down on the Monaro, which is uh, Bombala Way. And there's a small uh, pine program up on the northern tablelands, Nundal Way. Well, can we go and maybe have a look at a, a few of these seedlings then? For sure. My name's Dean Page. I'm the Blowering Nursery Manager. All right, so we're down here looking at some of the rows now. How long do the seedlings spend here? Yeah, the seedlings are sown generally within uh, the first portion of October and they'll commence to be dispatched to the plantation sites from uh, June, generally June through to August the following year. We're looking at one now that's been pulled out of the ground. Can you describe this one for us? This is a uh, GF19N seedling, which is uh, probably about 99% of our plantation stock is GF19N. We've found a very good versatile uh, type of seedling right across the state and this seedling here as you can see every seedling no matter what plant it has has a tap root when we're lifting the seedlings of course we don't want something growing three foot down in the ground so we have a actually a machine that comes in underground removes the bottom of the tap root and we're trying to encourage lateral roots the machine comes in under the ground how does yeah, it do just, that just uh they're actually old band saws from the mills that we get uh, re-machined and it's on a reciprocating uh, horizontal saw. It's, it's mounted on one of our tractors and goes through at approximately 100 millimetres below the ground level and cuts the tap root. Now um, we just walked past some people working back over here. How many people actually work here? Currently uh, there's uh, 37. We'll probably peak around about the 50 mark, which is a great boon for local employment. Now we're looking at this, um, the boom spray here that's going out over the container seedlings. How much water does it save you having them in the containers rather than in the ground? Well, on a recent comparison that we did uh, for a similar number of seedlings in the ground, or probably less actually, in that period of time that we measured over, we consumed approximately 30 meg megalitres. Here with the containers, we had actually in excess or more seedlings, um, and we used three megalitres. In anyone's language, that is phenomenal. I know you're not supposed to say stuff like that for commercial agriculture and forestry and things, but they're very cute. They're cute. I come out every night and sing to them or swear to them. <laughs> like that.